Hey friends and fellow stackers, this is Eric and welcome back for the last video of the year. Uh, recapping how we did for 2019. Uh, as most of you are aware, I, I got myself this uh, Excel spreadsheet that I've developed that helps me uh, track and calculate my progress in meeting my goals and my overall uh, tally of uh, gold and silver and everything in my stack. Uh, so here's a quick look at my goal checklist that I had for 2019. Uh, quick overview, um, I achieved and surpassed my original goal of, for silver by 19.5% and 400% uh, there for gold. Uh, I did not get any platinum this year, I did put it on my uh, list. Uh, but decided uh, to focus more efforts on the gold and silver. Um, probably will have that next year, but it's still not very high priority for me. So no no platinum, so 0% for that overall. Though we're looking at 173% of what I set out to get. Um, and as you can see, a lot of that has been uh, simply because I bought more than I originally intended. Obviously so. Uh, for instance, I had a goal of buying four 5-ounce bars, I ended up getting six. I originally set myself a goal of two 10-ounce bars, and I just kept running into uh, good prices. Obviously, we remember way back in the springtime of this uh, past year, when prices were in the $15 range, and it was just too juicy of an offer to pass up on some of those good prices. So, like some of you, I kind of hopped on it, and uh Overdid what I was originally planning, but for the prices, you couldn't uh, turn your nose up on it. And of course, uh, I keep a list of my bonus, meaning anything that I wasn't didn't initially account for, or so it's just extra, or pieces that I saw that I liked that count towards the stack, or count towards my purchases for the year, but wasn't initially uh, planned for. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, so, in the... For the whole year of 2019, I added an additional 234.9 ounces of silver and one full ounce of gold. Uh, for, for the, and you can see there the attached tallies for the uh, total of amount of money spent and current spot melt value and the overall above and beyond difference uh, in the two categories. So overall, had a good year. I uh, added about 235 ounces of silver, one ounce of gold. Um, looking at my summary, uh, and this is in totality for uh, since I started stacking. Uh, and there again you see how I've added up over the years. So uh, keeping consistent with my year over year. Uh, first year I bought 246 last uh, in 2018. I bought 299 almost 300 ounces and this year again 236 and a half so right now my current stack I'm sitting at a total of 782.1 ounces of silver 2.24 ounces of gold and a tenth ounce of platinum for a total melt value given the current spot prices as of this very minute of about 16,830 uh, obviously subject to fluctuation as the markets may change. Uh, looking onwards towards next year, I have uh, a new set of goals for 2020, and here they are. Uh, so for the next year, um, again, you'll see I have silver, gold, and platinum. Uh, again, with just like this year with platinum, whether I hit that or not, I'm not. that's not a high priority, so I don't really care. Um, but this will track as I enter and fill in the columns here for how much, you know, the date I purchased, how much I spent. It'll tally it up for me and tell me uh, my over-under price on everything. Uh, but for the coming year, uh, my first goal, beyond buying anything, is to get my stack to be equal to or greater than 96% of my total holdings. And there you can see I have 92.81% currently. So if you look, I have my uh, total stack and collection, as you will, broken out as stack and then collectibles. So stack is anything that I would be willing to part with on a heartbeat if the price was good. 
I just consider it weight, um, and that's going to be uh, all my constitutional silver, all my uh, silver bars, and then uh, a lot of coins and rounds. Um, and for those who are interested, I, I categorize my uh, bullion coins in different categories, but the overwhelming majority, and as far as stack is concerned, is my uh, American Silver Eagles. I have 300 Eagles working on uh, filling up a monster box of 500. And then I have various other pieces, like kind of the one of each of everywhere, you know, a kangaroo, the philharmonic, the uh, silver maple leaf, uh, that I just still, even though I kind of collected it, uh, just for the sake of getting one of everything, it's still just bullion, so it still counts as just stack weight. So, uh, right now, currently, um, as far as my collectible pieces, and there again you saw there, there were certain items in the uh, bullion coin category that, you know, like uh, my uh, Australian sw uh, silver swans and other type specialty coins and other things that I consider uh, collectibles that I wouldn't want to have to sell unless I had to, that I kind of enjoy collecting the series itself. It is bullion, but not, you know, just a, a generic bar that I would th get rid of in a heartbeat. So, given, um, again, the total of uh, 782 ounces of silver, 92.81% uh, of that is considered my generic uh, stack, and 7.19% is collectibles. Now, I, just like everybody, I kind of get into the habit of uh, obviously carrying on uh, collections and falling for the old... Uh, Hey, this, this is a unique coin they come out with, got to have it, a uh, high premium piece. Uh, but I'm, again, redoubling my efforts as I did last year to focus on bullion weight, uh, American Silver Eagles mainly, and then getting that total stack ratio above 96%. Again, we're sitting at just a hair under 93. I think it's doable if I keep myself focused and don't get too sidetracked. From there, uh, again, I want to try and get five more tubes of American Silver Eagles for a total of 100 Eagles um, and just keep working my way towards filling up that monster box. And then the next category I really want to focus on next year and bulk up on is uh, Constitutional Silver. And I kind of broke it out. I don't really care from mo moving forward whether it's Mercury and Roosevelt Dimes, whether it's Franklin or Kennedy Habs. Um, but just blump and mump, I want to get four tubes of dimes, three tubes of halves, two tubes of quarters. That should in to total add up to uh, 50 ounces. It's, it's something like 50.04. So in total, I'm looking to add uh, just 150 ounces of silver. Um, it's a 100% surefire bet. I will purchase more than 150 ounces, given that, I mean, I'm not... I know for sure I'm going to get, you know, the next two Queen's Beast 2-ounce silver coins. And I know I'm going to get the next, uh, the 2020 Silver Swan and some other coins. And I'm sure, you know, if they come out with another, you know, Black Flag, Queen Anne's Revenge, and other type uh, interesting coins that catch my fancy, uh, I'm sure I'll get them. So that's why I have a bonus list that will get tallied in, but is not initially part of the goals because they'll just be extras. Uh, so for right now, uh, goal of 150 ounces of silver as Eagles and Constitutional. Uh, the big thing I want to aim for is one and three quarters of an ounce of gold. Um, subject to change, but I thought that was a solid good target that I could maintain, especially since I'm not going as heavy in the silver in the coming year. Um, I want to build up my gold. Um, I, I've got five slots here, but... You know, I might buy a half ounce, a quarter ounce, you know, as, as I find a good deal. And I'm hoping to get to at least one and three quarters, maybe two ounces of gold. That is my goal for next year. Uh, platinum, I have a goal of one ounce. Uh, that's a carryover from last year. I, um, I Eventually, I'd like to get a little more into platinum. I have one little one-tenth ounce piece. It's, you know, not anything significant in my stack, but it's something I'd like to look into but right now um, it's not high priority so whether I do end up getting platinum next year or not again I it's uh, not a big deal um, I do have on here 
5 and 10 ounce silver bars. Uh, I may uh, wipe that off the list because I think I want to focus more on silver eagles. So, that's my goals for next year. Um, and again, another recap of where I stand. Um, as of the end of this year, I've hit 782 ounces of silver and two and a quarter ounces of gold. So, I think we've been crushing it pretty good these last three years and looking forward to 2020. I uh, hope to see you guys crushing as well this year. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed.